Thank you. We are learning more about the project to transform 65 acres of waterfront property in the heart of downtown Charleston into homes, businesses and green space. Tonight we expect to hear more about the Union Pier project, including new additions to the team chosen by the Riley Center for Livable Communities. Tonight's meeting is also meant to inform the public on what role they'll play in the project. My five Destiny Kennedy joins us in Charleston at the Riley Center. So Destiny, when do officials hope to have a solid plan to place for the Union Pier? Shelby, Katie, officials tell me they hope to have a plan voted on by next summer. The Riley Center of Livable Communities is a public service institute housed at the College of Charleston. The center does a lot of work with local governments and organizations to bridge the gap between the community. The center has gathered a team of experts who they believe bring great knowledge and diverse perspectives to the development process of the Union Pier. The nearly 65 acres will be transformed into a neighborhood with green space, housing, and some office and hotel space. In the meeting, the planning department will explain what the public can look forward to in 2024 and the plans to build to accommodate the rising sea level climate issues and create community space that is valuable to people. The advisory committee consisting of 14 members who rep represent environmental organizations, historic preservation organization, the Chamber of Commerce, an organization representing Charleston, Trident area realtors, as well as groups that are neighborhoods surrounding the site. The committee voted to hire a planning consultant last month, and that planning consultant has since been hired. Tonight, the center is holding a public meeting to discuss the latest protocols. It will be the first time the community gets to hear from the entity called Sasaki, which is an internationally recognized planning and urban design firm. Ali Moriarty, who is the assistant director of the Riley Center for Livable Communities, further explains their role in the project. So our, our role at the Riley Center is to facilitate a community-led process to ensure that community voices are at the forefront, and we anticipate our role to take about a year. So, well, at this point, a little bit less than a year. The meeting kicks off this evening at the College of Charleston in the Tate Room from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. If you're unable to make it in person, there is a virtual option. Reporting live in Charleston, Destiny Kennedy, Live 5 News.